And Pope Francis names Bishop Robert Brennan to lead the Catholic Diocese of Brooklyn. He becomes the eighth man to lead the diocese, which encompasses one and a half million people in Brooklyn and Queens. CBS 2's Christina Fan has the story. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. The incoming and outgoing bishops of the Diocese of Brooklyn celebrated Mass together at the Co-Cathedral of St. Joseph. Bishop Nicholas DiMarzio stepping down after serving nearly 18 years. It's a long time to be in one place. And it's like a generation. Replacing him and leading the diocese's 1.5 million Catholics is Bishop Robert Brennan, a New York native who grew up on Long Island. Brennan, who has served as the Bishop of Columbus since 2019, says getting the call from the Vatican to come home was overwhelming. I pledge to serve you with every bit that I have. DiMarzio submitted his resignation in 2019 when he turned 75 years old as required by canon law. On Wednesday, the Vatican formally accepted the resignation, weeks after it exonerated DiMarzio of sex abuse allegations dating back half a century ago. He still faces civil lawsuits. I think that investigation was second to none and it found that there was no evidence of any kind of abuse. Among the issues Bishop Brennan hopes to tackle include rebuilding trust and bringing people back to the church. Y tengo tristeza de salir de Columbus. In a diocese with a large Hispanic population, his ability to speak Spanish is already exciting many Catholics. It was like really meaningful to my parents and everyone that there is a Spanish-speaking bishop now because I could connect with him. Remember also our brothers and sisters. Through those connections, Bishop Brennan hopes to renew the church's vitality. In Prospect Heights, Brooklyn, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. And Bishop Brennan will be installed on November 30th at the Co-Cathedral of St. Joseph.